That's right. If you were watching yesterday, we were talking about that cluster of thunderstorms in the central Atlantic that had a pretty good chance at developing into something tropical. Earlier today at 11 o'clock, it was named Tropical Depression Number 2. And at 2.30, they issued a special advisory naming it Tropical Storm Barrel. We'll have the latest on that and our weather coming up over the next three and a half minutes or so. Radar right now showing a couple of these isolated showers. We saw them yesterday. This uh, morning, we had a few roll through. And this afternoon, we had a few more. And again, not a lot of activity out there, but with that easterly wind, coming in off the water southeasterly wind We've seen a few of those showers popping up now just a couple of showers here through parts of Chesapeake and around the state line a couple more back through Gates County there's a little one Chihuahua County a little more south of the Albemarle Sound so through the rest of the evening we'll call for an isolated shower or two a lot of the activity will diminish and fall apart once we had past sunset and that's what Futurecast is showing it so muggy and warm through the rest of the evening and into the overnight so we start the day tomorrow partly cloudy skies winds coming in out of the south Temperatures climbing quickly up to around 90 degrees by noon and we get that heat building and an approaching front. We'll start to see a few showers and thunderstorms popping up and we could have a few heavier downpours rolling through and a couple of waves. Notice that first wave pushing through around 6 o'clock. Here's the next one coming through around 9, 10, 11 o'clock. And again, there could be some heavier uh, bouts of rain as we go through the evening. So if you have evening plans tomorrow, definitely carry that umbrella. It looks like it's going to be a wet one. By Saturday morning, a few lingering showers, but things should clear out by afternoon. But look at these high temperatures Saturday in the upper 70s and the humidity will be dropping and Sunday's looking absolutely beautiful with temperatures around 80 degrees and mostly sunny skies. But until then, how much rainfall are we looking at? Well, over the next 48 hours, we could see some spots pick up two, three inches of rain. If there's a heavier downpour, maybe a little bit more. It doesn't necessarily mean it'll be three and a half in Virginia Beach and only one and a half in Newport News. The general idea is that there will be a few heavier downpours out there as we go through the afternoon tomorrow. Now the latest on the tropics again. This is barrel right here. That little little swirl spinning around in the Atlantic winds of uh, 50 miles per hour right now with gust of 65. It is expected to move off towards the west. This is the five o'clock advisory that just came in from the Hurricane Center, and you can see it does look to strengthen over the next couple of days as we get into Saturday. Winds of 70 miles per hour, but then it looks like it'll start to weaken as it approaches the Lesser Antilles and falls apart, and the computer models carry it over into the northern parts of the Caribbean. So again, something we'll have to watch, but it doesn't appear any threat to any land masses over the next couple of days. It's the Lesser Antilles once we get into the weekend. Partly cloudy skies right now, and it it is hot, 88 degrees, but it feels like 101 with that humidity at 72 percent. 89 in Smithfield, 86 Gloucester, 85 Manio, 88 in Portsmouth, and 86 in Kill Devil Hill. So an evening shower, thunderstorm, 76 degrees tonight and tomorrow. Those afternoon showers and thunderstorms with increasing clouds through the day. High temperature of 91. Morning showers on Saturday, a high of only 79 degrees. Mostly sunny and beautiful Sunday, 81. 85 Monday and then temperatures climb back into the lower 90s for Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday.